So in Jeremiah 17, um, when, it's, when he says that the heart is wicked, uh, the question is, in Christ, are we still wicked? Do we still have a wicked heart? And I would say no. Um, because if you are truly born again, a repentant believer born again into Christ, you have a new heart. You are a new creation. Um, and in the context of that word lieb, in, in, I think I'm saying it right in the Hebrew, uh, the heart is that your innermost part, your mind, your, your soul, your spirit, that which drives you as a person. And uh, if you are made new in Christ, the thing that drives you in Christ is new. It's different. Um, God writes the laws of his, uh, on our heart, right? So we know uh, inherently what is doing right and what is doing wrong. Now, does this mean that we will be perfect once we come to Christ? Because we, no, we will not achieve full perfection until the next life. And in this life, we're still going to be sanctified um, and working to be more and more Christ-like each and every day. This means that the things that we know that are wrong, the things that we know that are wicked, uh, we're going to have to fight against those. And it's not always uh, a spiritual battle. Sometimes it's just our flesh. We have to fight against our flesh and the desires of the flesh. But God's mercies are new every day. And this is why we have those disciplines of prayer and fasting and reading the word and being in worship uh, and having a quiet time, setting aside that time with God every day to hear the word of God, to read the word of God, so that in our sanctification, um, our hearts become more aligned with his will and his way of thinking than our own flesh and our own will. So um, does that mean we can always trust our hearts and our hearts' desires? No. Um, but what we can trust is when we have those desires given to us by God, uh, and by the Holy Spirit from God, um, then we can trust those desires and we should lean into those desires. But they'll always agree with Scripture. So.